Very good day to you people. My name is Mohitan guys. So I'm going to talk about creating hyperlinks in Dreamweaver. Let's start. A very very important subject guys. Let me click on the create new HTML button. Now guys actually creating links is something you don't really need a tutorial for. Okay. But there are some uh, finer points that I'm going to take up. And uh, then you know actually making a tutorial on hyperlinks will uh, make a lot of sense. So let me start. Let me say this is a let's say hyperlink okay let me select the word hyperlink itself okay I want to create this word hyperlink into a hyperlink itself and let's see how we can actually do that hmm. it's very simple all you need to do is you need to be in the properties panel out here down below okay uh, make sure that the HTML button is selected this one okay go to the link section and link box and just type HTTP colon uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash any website quality lessons dot net okay then uh, <coughs> this is the href attribute guys and we need to uh, you know have one more attribute which is the target attribute uh, we usually choose either blank or self okay blank will open up in uh, open up the, the website new uh, blank page or a blank tab okay the self will open up in the same page at the same tab cool let me go with blank and have a look out here well, let me collapse this much first okay have a look out here guys uh, this is the href attribute where we have the website's name http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net and there we have the target attribute which says uh, underscore blank okay which turns this word happening into happening itself now by default guys uh, in Dreamweaver or even in HTML the hyperlinks have a color blue okay the rollover color let's let's go to the live view let me show it to you is uh, <coughs> let me save the document first then you'll be able to see it let me s uh, say preview in Google Chrome it'll ask me to save the document let me call it hyperlinks itself okay <coughs> okay now uh, the active state is actually red okay and uh, the visited state is purple so those are the default guys the the link color is blue the active state that is the state when uh, you actually click on the link and don't leave it keep the button mouse button press is red and the visited link when you actually have visited the link already it turns purple so these are some uh, default states but what if I actually want to change those states I don't want the default states I want my own states I want my own colors okay how do I do that and guys also notice when it's a hyperlink you actually get this that blue underline what if you don't want it okay so there are ways you can actually handle that what if you want a different font or different uh, property for that font okay you can actually get all that but guys there's a formula there's a formula and that formula is love to hate you love to hate you you need to remember that L A for love rather uh, we'll come back to that so just remember love to hate you for the time being okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to modify I'm gonna go to page properties let me come with the live view so modify page properties guys and uh, I'm gonna go to the category which is links okay uh, let me have different colors for different states so for the link color I'm gonna say let's say green for the rollover color let me say a different color this one for the visited let me go with this one for the active let me go with this one okay and out here it says always underline let me go with a different option I'm gonna say show underline only on rollover okay let me go with a different font let me go with let's say mm, debunked it's it's I don't know how do you pronounce it tree tribucket tribucket MS and let me go with the size let's say 110 or 105 percent of the usual document size right let me say okay so guys as you can see uh, things have actually changed let me go to the live view let me show it to you okay so we get um, a rollover only when you uh, mouse over or when you roll over only then you can actually see the underline guys okay otherwise you don't the size is slightly altered the font is altered as well okay now here see uh, guys this order <coughs> this order for the rules that we have created uh, L uh, L V stands for uh, love. 
and H here stands for hate. So that that's where we uh, what I was talking about love to hate you comes in the picture. So that's L V for love and H A for hate. This order cannot be um, otherwise, guys. You have to maintain this order. So on the you know right on top you have to have the A link. Then you have to have the A visited. Then the hover. Then the active states. Okay, cool. So that's love to hate you. Just keep that in mind, guys. Now, guys, what has happened is um, these rules, all these five rules, are now a part of your document itself the HTML document itself which means they are internal rules now internal let me just you know double click out here and show it to you okay see guys we have the opening style tag out here we have uh, the closing style tag down below out here and all the rules uh, are uh, sandwiched in between let me just collapse this area cool so there you go we have the opening tag out here okay and there we have the anchor tag the font for the anchor tag the size for the anchor tag the color for the anchor tag the a link rule the a visited rule so these are internal rules right now what if I didn't want that Dreamweaver did not ask me just dump them as internal rules what if I actually wanted an external rule you know an external style sheet to house all this <coughs> all these rules so I can do that very easily I can just click on this plus button out here it says new CSS rule and then I'm gonna make a change I'm gonna select uh, I'm gonna click here I'm gonna say new style sheet okay I'm gonna uh, create a rule let me call it test and uh, it's gonna be a class rule guys I'm gonna say okay alright it's gonna ask me for my style sheet name I'm gonna say my styles okay let me click on the save button and then I'm gonna straight away say okay I'll tell you why I did not uh, make a test rule dot test rule I'll tell you why I did not do that because I will any uh, anyways delete it let me save everything up first let me say save all right now guys uh, notice what I'm gonna do out here I'm gonna take all these five rules let me select them one by one pressing the shift key let me drag it let me leave it, uh, leave it out here at the bottom let me click on this style tag let me uh, then let me click on style tag let me delete it as well so now what has happened is all the the five rules have been dragged from the top to the bottom basically I've dragged them out to the external style sheet now I can actually delete this test rule I don't want it okay so it's, it's been dumped as well so we have transferred all the internal rules to the external rules guys if I actually show it to you now it's not there in the HTML document anymore okay out here we have the link tag which says that all the rules are now in an external style sheet called my styles.css we have the my styles.css out here let me open it up and show it to you okay so basically guys what we have done is we've transferred all the rules to the external style sheet cool now what uh, what happens out here is sometimes we may want a different set of rules for uh, let's say a, a, a div tag so let me first insert a div and show it to you. Let's say insert, let's say layout objects, div tag. Mm, let me call the div div1. Let me click on the new CSS rule button. Let me say OK. OK. Let me go to the box category. Let's say the width is 400 for the div. The height is 400 as well. Mm, let me go with the background color 2. Let me go with this one. Let me go with this one rather let me say ok and ok once again so guys I've created a link you know I've created the, a div out here uh, let me create this word here into a link guys not only words or text can be created to, to be a link you can actually choose images to be a link as well no issues I'm gonna go to the properties panel making sure that the HTML button is selected I'm gonna type HTTP colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons <coughs> lessons dot net and uh, let me choose a target to be uh, black okay now it's a link guys okay but the colors the rollover colors the visited colors the hover colors the active colors just the same as the earlier link this one okay how do I actually change that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight this uh, word here and then I'm gonna click on this plus button out here to create a new CSS rule okay automatically the contextual selectors would be set to compound guys I'm gonna make my own rules I'm gonna say a colon 
link basically I would want that uh, all the links inside the div one should have a different uh, look and feel let's see how I can actually do that and guys have a look out here they're all being dumped into the mystyles.css file external style sheet okay I'm gonna say okay I'm gonna choose a different color and I'm gonna remember the formula love to hate you okay I'm gonna click on uh, the plus button once again this time so we already have dealt with L for love so we go with V now so that's visited so a colon visited okay let me have a different color this one let me plus click the plus sign so love LV is taken care of so H and A hover so we go with hover this time okay choose a different color altogether <coughs> okay and uh, the last is hate you love to hate you so that's uh, HA for hate so that's a active active state so let me have a different color altogether there you go let me say okay let me take a look in Google Chrome after saving the changes okay so now both the links have a different uh, color different rollover color different active state color when I keep the mouse button pressed and obviously they should have a different uh, visited color as well I'm not gonna check that you can do it yourself okay out here if I roll over you can actually see that uh, only on a rollover you get this uh, underline the same is true out here as well okay what I can do is uh, I can actually make sure that the links are rather uh, let me go out here let me make sure that the links are actually underlined let me say okay and uh, let me be in the live you guys so out here the links are always underlined out here they're not they underline themselves only on a rollover right so guys this is how you actually work with hyperlinks a very easy subject very useful very effective uh, hyperlinks are always very effective guys very easy to understand but uh, it's just that color part the love to hate you formula that I wanted to teach you otherwise you didn't actually need a tutorial for this kind of a subject right so guys I hope you like the tutorial you learn something from it I'll see you very soon with yet another dream viewer CS 5.5 tutorial you have a good day bye bye peace